in this session we will discuss about IS 875 part 3 and its applications and provisions and different clause and how to configure to ETAPS and also the IS 15498 which we typically use for the cyclone, uh, cyclone uh, oriented or prone areas where you have different compatible code which you do consider other than the 875 part 3 provisions. So this two will be our primary point of discussion where you can see the different factors and configurations and the mean uh, aspect of the wind uh, speed or the velocity which you get and how to co consider that and configure to get or achieve the typical output. So that will be discussing. So let me go through this 875 part 3 code and couple of amendments happen here the earlier wind pressure map one giving winds of shutter duration and another excluding winds of shutter duration have been replaced by a single wind map giving maximum wind speed in meter and second because we are really interested in the worst case scenario so maximum wind speed will be pretty useful and no need to worry about other thing and time interval about 3 second duration and the wind speed have been worked out for 50 years return period based upon up to date wind data of 43 times pressure tube DPT and anemograph stations and study of other related works available on the subject since 1964 and modification factor to modify the basic wind velocity to make into account the effect of terrain local topography size of structure are included also and couple of uh, new uh, thing you can see the force coefficient the drag coefficient are given for frames lattice towers walls and hoardings the calculation of force on circular sections is included incorporating the effect of Reynolds number and surface roughness and these are the couple of more highlights and some requirements regarding study of the dynamic effect in flexible slender structure are also included and couple of different other country standard like BSCP 31973 code of basic data for design of buildings chapter V loading and part 2 wind loads and here AS1170 you can see for the part 2 wind forces and New Zealand you can see 4203 1976 and NCA 58.1 for American standards and wind adjustment design regulation you can see also association for science documents information Tokyo so if you see this different notations here and I standard also you have so scope here if you see the standard gives wind force and their effects static and dynamic that should be taken into account when designing the buildings or structures or any type of typical combination of that the ultimately the wind load estimation will be made by taking into account the random variation of wind speed with time so this is typically related to the time and that effect you have to consider and that you have to understand so these are the notifications which you use for understanding the wind effect the surface area of a structure the effective frontal area an area at height the breadth of the structure force coefficient or drag coefficient and frictional force transfer force all this you affect pressure coefficient and height of the structure above the mean ground level and multiplication factor so these are very important k1 k2 k3 and this also you do consider in the cyclonic prone areas configuration for other code that also I will discuss design wind pressure PD that will be also point of focus Reynolds number and these different terms you can see that are included inside the formulas like the design wind velocity at a typical height and hourly mean wind speed so these are the critical terms which you have to see under the terminology pressure coefficient is very important and developed height that is also very important so let us come to the wind speed and the pressure so nature of the wind at atmosphere and that you have to understand the Ackman effect that is very very important 
basic wind speed and design wind speed the vz and the basic wind speed vv so there is relation between that vz equal to vv k1 k2 into k3 and in case of cycling prone when you have cyclones so from your exercise folder code you can get this particular code is 15498 I can go to page number 6 so here you can see the same vd equal to f k1 k2 k3 into vv but whereas in case of your i standard you can see only the f is missing but in case of your this particular standard f is the enhancement factor for cyclonic risk so this particular code book will give you this and which has been referred and you can see the IS 875 part 3 so where the values of K1, K3 and VV shall be specified and that you will get and this is the typical velocity which you do consider after considering this enhancement factor so only in the cyclone prone area where you have the cyclone so there when you go for the wind load analysis and configurations there you have to consider this factor F so that also I will discuss so here you have provisions and the type which are suggested good ground and made of ground and made of ground the level you can see this is not there and we have to make it so plan of the building plan of the building improvements so these are the basic guidelines which you can refer for implementing and understanding this particular code so here if you see the vz the design wind speed at any height the z in meter per second k1 is the probability factor risk coefficient k2 is the terrain height and structure size factor which you will get in this particular tables and topography factor k3 so that when you multiply and then only you can get the vv that is the basic wind speed and you have different category category 1 2 3 4 so category 1 specifically is the exposed open terrain with few or no obstruction and in which the average height of any object surrounding the structure is less than 1.5 meter and category T is open terrain with well scattered obstruction having a height generally between 1.5 to 10 meter and category 3 terrain with the numerous closely spaced obstruction having the size of the building structure up to 10 meter in height and these are couple of nodes which you can go through it and terrain with numerous large highly closely spaced obstruction so this category include large city centers generally with obstruction above 25 meter and well developed industrial complex so here you can see the typical map which I'll just I'll fit it so that you can clearly see this so this is the different areas with the color and these are with the 55 meter per second to 33 so these are the 33 and these are the peak areas where you can see in the coastal belt areas but still here you can see the 44 in the Mumbai and the Surat and all this region and a 55 you can see all this coastal belt like the Vishakapatnam and the Valor, Madras and typically this Bhavneshwar these are with the higher values and this also 39 you can see these areas so like that each country having their own uh, the wind graph and that you can follow and based on that here you can see the risk coefficient k1 so that you have to specify the mean probable de design life of the structure in years and k1 factor per basic wind speed in meter per second for 33 to 55 so 33 to 55 so you have to pick the values here which factor if you are going for design 100 this factor you have to use if you are going for 50 years so these are the values which you have to specify k1 by adopting this particular formulas you will get the result so here you have the n 
here you have the mean probable design life and pn risk level in the conjugative years and x and the extreme wind speed for given values and here you have the terrain category 1 2 3 4 and there you can get the factors based on the k2 factor this is and table 3 will give you the k3 this will be the k3 factor that you will get based on the different terrain category and the fetch kilometer so design wind speed will be the pz and this will be the formula for calculating pz with the vz the design wind velocity and this is the wind pressure which you design so this particular comparisons you have to apply so this is very important and how to configure that in ETAP that I will show you so these are the calculations which you apply so let me show you in ETAPs how to do that so you can open the live and dead load and by default you never get the option for configuring comparing the wind load so you have to add that so when you open or start doing any project you never get by default wind load or earthquake load or any higher load which you have to configure manually so if you go to the loads and load pattern here only by default you see the dead and live load which are suggested by the system if you want to add a wind load you have to just right click this load pattern and go to add new load pattern and here you have to add a new pattern and give a name wind load and type I am giving wind here and auto lateral load has been added here for all the different country code I am selecting here Indian IS 875-1875 so once you configure this don't forget to add the new load once you add this new load this load will be added and you can directly go to the modify lateral load and when you go to modify here you can see the structure class terrain category here you can see the same terrain category so that terrain category you have to pick and structure class also ABC based on the light due to heavy duty and important building factor that also you have to specify risk coefficient here you can see K1 K3 can you see this so this particular factor you have to specify here and the wind coefficient this also you will get the table and automatically suggested and wind direction exposure width that also you can specify the between the story and what typical exposure width you have it calculates based on the this typical width and the direction angles also you can give and also you can include the parapet and this particular height and the between the exposure height based to this that you can configure wind speed in that typical table this VV that you can find here right so once you go through the code this all these options typically you can configure and understand very clearly the exposure from extent of rigid diaphragm so if you have the rigid diaphragm that you can configure exposure from shell object shell object already I told so if you have the shear wall or if you can create by going to any particular option which you can use this already I told how to drop the cladding so in case of cladding also you can apply the same wind load so we have added this wind load now you can see the load cases here wind load has been added and if you go to the modify and here you can see the load pattern scale factor this also you can configure and load case name is here linear static and if you want to see for the nonlinear case nonlinear static you can also go for it and model cases you can add the model geometric nonlinear option you can go for the p delta and full load and final load state that you can configure here and you can go for ok so this particular load cases you can by default add as for a requirement to your structure and then you can execute it just you solve this after 
assigning this so after that you will once you solve it it will take 5 minutes then you will get the result so these are the different codes which you saw and that you can configure and apply so in our coming session we'll discuss more about the other cases and its configuration which are left thank you